Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Yeah, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. It's better you're out there. Right, so NordFCon 2020. Um, insert vision jokes uh, here. Um, you'll be pleased to know I'm keeping this short and sweet. If you want to see me witter on, then come tomorrow. Um, housekeeping. Uh, this is the main auditorium. Uh, we congregate here during the breaks. There's sort of food over, over there. Uh, our eager helpers are on hand uh, over there. Wave, Charlie. Yes. Um, we're all wearing fetching staff t-shirts as well if you, if you need to grab us. Um, just approach us. We're all friendly. Um, our lovely sponsors, I say my notes are in the back. They're not. They're there uh, and there. Um, please do go speak to the sponsors. They're the people who make this happen. Um, conference room one, where some of the stuff is happening. Let's make sure I get the right way around. Conference room one is upstairs on that side of the building. Conference room two is literally other side of that wall. Uh, the boardroom is there-ish. So you head out along. Um, but there's plenty of people who can point you in the right direction. Uh, training room one is on the second floor yonder. Uh, again, ask. And if you Google King Center layout PDF, there is a handy layout PDF of the King Center. Um, <laughs> uh, toilets. So big toilet block located just that side. Uh, there's another set opposite the conference room one. There's a set there next to conference room two. Uh, accessible toilets up the slope and on the first floor. And I'm going to steal uh, something from Churchill College here, which I have ripped verbatim, and say that uh, Norfolk developers support individuals using whichever toilet they feel best matches their gender expression. Please make no assumption in this matter. Uh, the King Centre have retained the traditional green fire exit signs, uh, which can be found above all good fire exits. Um, <laughs> there are, I believe, no planned fire drills uh, or fires. Um, so if the fire alarm does sound, please calmly make your way out of the building. Um, I'll be running. Um, <laughs> if you need assistance, please make yourself known so that we can uh, arrange things for you. Uh, it's a large building. We're going to be spread around, so please make yourself aware of the fire exit signs. There's one over there. Um, I think there's three in this building, or four in this room. Um, and we ask, in the event of a fire, don't tweet until you're outside. For all non-life-threatening things, live tweet. Um, so this is the Norfolk Developers Conference. Uh, we use the Norfolk Developers uh, Twitter handle, which is at Mordev. Uh, it's wrong. It's Norfolk Dev, you're right. You are absolutely correct. Advantage Paul. Um, <laughs> what he said. Uh, the hashtag is correct, um, because I made it up. Um, if you're on Facebook, they already know who you are, where you are, why you're here, uh, who you're with, so you don't need to give them any extra information. Uh, and if you're on Instagram, start with these hashtags and um, move, on from, move on from there. Um, <laughs> So uh, none of this would be possible without our sponsors. Um, so our elite sponsor, uh, EG, are a long-time friend of, of Nordev. They've been sponsoring us for a while now. Uh, they have a special treat lined up for tomorrow. So if you're here tomorrow, make sure that you keep an eye out for that. Uh, I have also been told, contractually, I have to mention that there's some delicious pop cakes at their stand. And you can go speak to them, and they will give you pop cakes. But I'm not going to mention this, because I want them all for myself. Um, our partner sponsors can be found yonder. Uh, the tech partners, uh, Snoop, Norfolk County Council, FX Home, and Alpha Inclusion. And honestly, without their help, we could not put this conference on. Um, so please do go speak to them, find out how they can help you. And uh, in no particular order, oh, one thing I've forgotten. Uh, Norfolk County Council are sponsoring tomorrow night's dinner. Uh, if you're coming along to that. And they've also organized a session with uh, John Marshall from the Department of Trade and Industry, which is, uh, sorry, Department of International Trade, which is happening tomorrow. Uh, and in no particular order is our associate sponsors uh, who help with a whole host of things that make the conference the event that it is. So, can we please join me in giving all of our sponsors a huge round of applause? <laughs> Uh, let's not forget the King Centre, um, once again hosting us and putting up with us. Uh, they've been very kind to Norfolk developers over the years. Um, 
we've run many events here, um, and they put up with us, and they are wonderful, and they are part of the reason why the ticket prices are so low. Um, so thank you so much for having us yet again. Uh, normally at this point I'd be trying to thank Paul, uh, but he doesn't like thanks. Uh, one year he actually pushed me off the stage when I tried to thank him. Um, so we got rid of him, uh, and we replaced him with these two fine gentlemen, um, Alex Scotton and uh, Sean Church. Uh, please note the spelling of Sean's name, uh, and then forget it. Most, most people do. Uh, any random character combination will do. Uh, but in all seriousness, Paul has, uh, after many, many years at the helm of Norfolk Developers and after a number of highly successful conferences, has now stepped down and retired effectively from, uh, from, from Norfolk Developers uh, to spend more time with his long-suffering wife, who is now suffering even more. Um, <laughs> Alex and Sean have stepped in to take over the reins and they are doing a sterling job with our uh, committee and our volunteers. Wave, volunteers! Thank you. Uh, and if you don't know who I am, I'm uh, Dom Davis. I describe my role here as rent a gob. Um, Alex and Sean much prefer to be in the background. I just step in at the last moment and grab all the glory. Uh, and while we're on the subject of reprehensible behavior, we have a code of conduct. Uh, there's a TLDR version and a long version on the website. Um, but if I was to sum it up in one line, it is to treat everyone with respect and dignity. If you feel there has been a code of conduct violation, please come and speak to a member of staff and we will get it sorted. Uh, our aim is to make this conference fun and inclusive for everyone. So we've got a great lineup. Um, I know you can't read it, but there is a great lineup. This is just a screen grab from the website. So if you go to nordevcon.com, uh, you will get to see this uh, lovely image um, and you will be able to see all the great speakers. And if you're anything like me, you can then deliberate and agonize over who you're actually going to go and see today because there's a huge number.